good evening guys so this is a continuation video the first video that we made we were talking about corresponding angles so now we want to talk about co-interior angles so i'm going to i'm going to try to make this as quick as possible um let me see so now uh last time when we spoke about corresponding angles we use this shape so i'll need us to use this shape again so that we can okay it's the shape let me quickly copy it here we go so i need us to use this shape again for us to find co-interior angles so this is going to be very easy we only have two pairs of co-interior angles in this shape and they'll be pretty easy to find so according to this statement here uh, or this fancy rule we said whenever we are talking about co-interior angles we are talking oh what happened to my fancy let's fix the fancy quick quick uh, right there this is too light too light let's fix the fancy quick quick right there So, we said whenever we are working with core interior angles, we need a U shape or a C shape. So, so far we dealt with this part of the corresponding angles. Now, let's move on to this one. So, for this one, the main things we are looking for, it's a U shape. Sorry. It's a U shape. It's a C shape, regardless of where it's facing, as long as it looks like a U shape, then for us it's a core interior angle. But that U shape, it must have parallel lines. So if the lines are parallel, then it works for us. But if you don't have this pair of parallel lines, then it wouldn't work for us. Hope you get that I'm saying. So in this case, we only have two pairs of core interior angles let's quickly remove this stuff yeah so here let's start by highlighting the first one if you can see the first one please pause the video write the pair of corresponding angles not corresponding write the pair of those core interior angles and then write them with the resins see if you can do it without me and then i'll you'll check the video afterwards when you've made your attempt so core interior core interior angles let's underline there you see that even on the video we are underlining there are many people who just fail to underline all the time but let's not talk about that here. Let me not expose you in this video. Let's keep on talking about co-interior angles. So we are saying now co-interior angles, they need parallel lines. Also co-interior angles, they add up to 180 degrees that's what we know about co-interior angles so our pairs of co-interior angles in this case we have this very first one here oops we have this very first pair here we see a c shape so in this c shape i have this parallel lines outlined there so in that case i know that this angle which is called what b1 thank you i have b1 i know that if i add b1 with this angle which is called e2 i must get 180 degrees so let's move let's remove those highlightings let's write them down now we are saying if ever i was to take b1 
angle B1, it must have a cap on top to show that it's an angle. Plus, not equals to, it's a plus because we are talking about cointelian angles. B1 plus angle E2, it must give us 180 degrees. And then you provide a reason. Remember geometry of static lines, you always give an answer with a reason. So our reason here, it's co, we write co interior this way, co interior angles. After that, you help me with uh, parallel lines. Remember the F formation, it formed around here, right there and there. So we know that we are supposed to use this whole line as a parallel line, right? So let's do this. This whole line is called AC. And I know that AC is parallel to what? DF. This answer is only right if one, it has the statement, and two, it has the reason. An answer without a reason, with only a statement, is wrong. You must provide an answer with a reason. So if your answer it has this reason now, but you didn't give me this part of parallel lines, it's still wrong. So please make sure you get it right. Now, what's the next pair of core interior angles? Please pause the video and see if you can find it. Write it down and write it with the reason. So I'm sure you found that pair already. So obviously we have this C formation. Oops, sorry. We have this C formation right there. This C formation is facing the other way. And then I know that these lines are parallel. Why am I saying they're parallel? Because it was given to me here. I'm not making this up. It's given to me. Therefore, I can say B4 and E3 are core interior angles. When they are core interior, it means they add up to 180 degrees. Are we good? Let's remove the highlighting. So let's write that down. Let's write that down quick, quick. I'm saying now, if I take angle B4, if it's an angle, it must have a cap on top. Angle B4 plus which one? Angle E3, I must get 180 degrees. Resin, remember there's no answer without a resin. I'm going to say these are co interior angles and then I label my parallel lines. So the first one it moved along the first one moved along uh, this line. It moved along this line. So we call this line what? AB. I'm going to say AB is parallel to the next line of the F formation moved here. That line is called what? Remember, you call the whole line, which is DF. Just like that. So that is all for core interior angles, guys. Check the next video whereby we will be talking about alternating angles. Enjoy the rest of your evening and please keep on practicing. If you feel like this is too easy for you, don't worry. We have more things coming for you that are more challenging. The ones that will challenge your intellect. These ones are the introductory level to help you develop, to get the basic understanding. Thank you and goodbye.